Hi guys, and welcome to another Figma in 5 tutorial. And today, we're gonna to look at how we can prototype the swipe to delete mobile pattern. Okay, time for a quick demo. So I could swipe the first item to reveal the delete button, which I can then tap, removing the row, causing everything to move up. Okay, so here's my list item. So if I just turn off the top layer, you can see that we've got our button revealed underneath. So we've got these two states. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is make this a component. Okay, so we've now made that component. We're gonna create a few more states. So we've got two more states. We're gonna have a state for the button and a state for the deleted action. So I'm just going to rename my, my variants here using the state property. So we've got three states here. So this one's gonna be the show the delete button state. And this one's gonna be the deleted state. Okay, so for the second state, I'm just gonna move the top layer over by 56 pixels. So just move it 56 pixels to the left. That's gonna re reveal the delete button. And then for the second state, we need to do exactly the same. Move it over by 56 pixels. Okay, and crucially for the delete state, we're gonna change the height to zero. That's effectively gonna make the whole disappearing thing work. Okay, switch to prototype mode. Select our first state, drag a noodle, choose on drag. Make sure we're on change to, and the state should be show delete. We're gonna change the animation to smart animate, and we're gonna change the easing curve to gentle, and we're gonna change the duration to 200 milliseconds. Okay, so we'll cut the delete button. We're gonna drag another noodle from the delete state to the invisible state. We're gonna make sure that's on tap. We wanna make sure it's changed to, and again, we wanna choose the deleted state. We wanna switch from instant to smart animate. Make sure we've got that gentle easing curve, and again, duration should be 200 milliseconds. Okay, let's draw a frame for our view. So we're just gonna choose the iPhone 14 and 15 Pro. We're gonna drag an instance of our list item into the frame. We wanna make that, we wanna put that into an auto layout. We also want to make the main frame and also layout. And we just need to play around with some of the margins. So we're just going to move the whole list item down a bit, select the frame inside, and we're just going to change that to fill. So it stretches to the width. Just going to remove the padding, make that zero. And we're going to add another few more items. We just want to remove the space between the items so they're batting up. There you go, we're ready. Let's open preview. Select our frame and then test out our swipe to delete. So we can swipe the first item, show the delete button, tap it and everything moves up. And it's moving up because it's all in an auto layout. So there you go. An easy way to make a swipe to delete list item inside of Figma. 